All right, guys. So we're back to start up another episode of Super Mario Maker 2. As you guys guessed from the title, we're going to do all of the custom levels in Super Mario 3D World once again, but this time the level's in World 2 this time. Let's see what we got going, shall we? Okay, so World 2 is going to function a bit differently from the last world that we've encountered, as this world is going to function as the Snow World instead of the usual desert one like in the previous one. But regardless, I digress. Let's get into World 2-1 to start off our snowy adventure. And this also includes some new enemies that we have never seen before in the series. Now, I do want to actually let you guys know that they are going to return when we get back into New Super Mario Bros. U later on, as I'm actually, I'm actually trying to remaster those levels and see if I can make them a little bit more challenging, while still technically trying to keep them easy at the same time. In any case, this level has the new snow pokies that were not available in the game originally, but now we're appearing in this game thanks to the new updates. So, let's get into it. Reach the goal after defeating all three Goombas. Super Mario Brothers U, and I discussed about four different stages that involve you completing the level using the propeller mushroom. This kind of function is similar to that, except you have to complete the levels with a cat suit, or a super bell in this case. This also includes some new enemies, including some snowballs and spikes. An interesting thing about spikes, normally they would throw in spiky balls, but in snow play sets, they actually throw snowballs, which is an interesting thing to note. But anyway, Let's get into this. Reach the goal as Cat Luigi. is the first underwater stage that I've made in the game. Though there is going to be a world based around water, this is our first look-sees of the underwater stages for now. World 2-3 is an underwater stage having chi-chis and bloopers and other types of enemies. But it also includes piranha creepers, though they're not necessarily required to be beaten. 
They're just sleeping in the water, as you would expect, but that's about it. Anyway, let's go. Reach the goal after grabbing all three ten coins. Okay, here we are in World 2's tower now. This tower functions a bit differently from the last one because it only has a bunch of ice block gimmicks associated with it, but nothing much after that. The mini boss of this particular tower is a bit different from the last one that we fought because it involves a new mini boss, Poom Poom. And now I know, I know she's called Pom Pom, but I don't give a fish. I'm calling her Poom Poom, that's it, okay? But in any case, Poo Poo will serve as your main mini-boss here, and the only difference with this particular battle is that there's ice physics. And, well, not much else to it, so what were you expecting? But anyway, let's get into this tower and see if we can beat it. Reach the goal after defeating Poo Poo. stages that is a hurry up sequence, having only just 100 seconds on the clock and forcing you to beat it without taking damage again, similar to last time. So let's go ahead and do it. Reach the goal without taking damage.
Okay, moving on to World 2-5, which is another underground level similar to World 1-2 last time. The only difference is that there's now Magikoopas and other types of enemies around the entire level, so just be careful with those. But anyway, let's go! Reach the goal after defeating all three Magikoopas. Same case as last time, but this time we have to deal with Koopa Troopas. But anyway, let's go. Reach the goal after defeating all 20 Koopa Troopas. Time for the final stage of World 2, guys. It's time for World 2's castle. This particular castle just has as much of ice blocks like before, but it also contains new Sledge Brothers that you don't normally see in Super Mario 3D World, but have been added into this game. The boss of this castle just so happens to be a big parabole. I represent a principle. Though, the way I come to the beat of is kind of tricky because you need to make sure that he falls into the lava once you get rid of four of the donut platforms, but it can be a bit tricky thanks to the fact that you'll stand on two, and if you don't get him out of the way by the time he gets to the uh, next one, you can't beat him essentially, so yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish World 2. Reach the goal after defeating Big Parabole. Wait. 
Alright guys, that pretty much covers it for this episode. There weren't really that many of those tricky levels in World 2, so overall it was pretty simplistic. In any case guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time when I of course come back for the next episode and tackle through some more of this game. But till next time guys, I'll see you later. So, till next time guys, bye.